Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at Sculpture 1.0 Alpha 2 that was just released a few days ago. So, Sculpture has been available for a while. We did talk about Sculpture 1, you know, the Alpha 1, and we talked about several of the improvements and cool stuff that they were coming with. And we also talked about it being in relation with other tools that we've seen at the same time we did talk about certain things that we didn't like about this tool and it's very interesting to see that the guys at Otoy they listened and they fixed most of them at the same time they broke something and i'm going to tell you guys about it so for you to get this tool you need to go over to the link in the description to get this and this is gpu based so you can sculpt in gpu you can do basically most of the kind of sculpting you would do with any traditional sculpting app but the only difference with sculpture is you actually animate these things while you sculpt so you can have a full-on sculpt import this as an obj file an mdd file and you can animate your sculpt directly there this is going to cut out all of those excessive time of you trying to rig animate this you can just do the whole key mesh style thing that is coming to blender directly with this tool so we talked about some tools the last time that looks and feels like this and in relation to this we did say that mosh 3d was one of the most amazing one by far which is available for anyone to actually go ahead and pick up as you can easily animate and also stylize and create some sort of dynamism in terms of both clothes in terms of jiggle directly on your mesh so if you already have an alembic mesh and you want to tweak certain things you can definitely use that and we also talked about chronoscopes being a tool that looks exactly like what we have coming from otoy that is sculptron but sculptron is more sculpt based and you can actually do some very cool animations or some very cool block outs with this one so with that said let's take a look at sculptron so if you fire up sculptron the first things you'll notice is the ui looks different not so far but looks refined and better the reason is because we complained about the first ui that it sucks and yes they fixed it so right now you would notice once this opens you're gonna see these four main dialog or four main windows that you need another thing that they fixed is when we did install the last one and we tried it we made a small complaint that every single time you install this tool it doesn't register on the start menu because this is windows based and they fixed that right now so if you go ahead and install this you'll be able to find this within your start menu and how you can organize this is very simple as you can pick up any of these windows and let's simply dock that right there and also we're gonna pick this one dock it right here maybe we're gonna move the tools somewhere around here maybe somewhere let's make this uh half and half yeah that looks good and you know something very very noticeable is this particular animation editor so the last animation editor we saw wasn't the best at all but this one has been refined and it looks pretty good you would also notice that the brushes are now here contrary to them being stacked up all the way here and the organization for the brushes for me makes sense the only thing which i don't really like so much about the brush is you know the the whole thing that you just have icons which i think a lot of you know tools are going for but the idea of putting those tiny texts would be very helpful visually so you can know exactly what brush you want to select contrary to just simply hovering around and trying to second guess where the brush you want to work with is another beautiful thing for me that has also been done here is when it has to do with the sculpting they've actually cleaned out certain things you now have over 1000 percent increase for both playback and sculpting as sculpting right now is way more cleaner and even faster for anyone who wants to work with this navigation is the same you need to hold down your middle mouse button to pan you you know roll it back and forth to zoom in for your brush size you need to use your right click to just simply click and drag to do that and you need to hold down your left mouse button to orbit around your scene every single thing here is just super easy and working with this is just an easy breeze so if you're trying to see other things like maybe you want to create volumetrics from your animations or from your you know 3d mesh then you can also pick up the volumetrics tab and let's dock that one right here and click on preview volumetrics 
So with this done, you would notice that it automatically turns whatever object that we have to become a 3D volume. And of course, you can simply go over to file and export this as a VDB object. And you can also export this as a VDB sequence. Sequence, you might ask, yes. Now, the reason why you can export that as a sequence is you can animate. And every single time you sculpt, this simply registers your sculpt as a keyframe and you can use this for anything you want. You can also go ahead and import your own OBJ file. If you go over to file and go over to OBJ, you can import your own OBJ file and I would refer you to the previous video which we did so you can see how most of these things work. You might also be wondering where the undo and redo all of those things where they exist right now. You know, once you start playing with this, you notice they have keyframes. So most of the times you probably would not want to have the undo redo maybe if you just want to make changes you can simply select what you have right here and press the delete key to get that out but then once you make this stuff you will notice that your undo and redo automatically gets active so once you've started editing the mesh the undo and the redo they become active and you can easily toggle in to undo them and also redo them right here you can play with the keyframes you can delete them you can also check your interpolations if you want to make them smoother or not if you want to add additional layers so maybe you want to have an additive layer to what you have already of course you can actually get that one going so if we increase our brush size right now and start pushing and pulling this and by the way this mesh which we have here are not voxels they are not voxels by any chance so if we go ahead and make you know some changes like this and let's just make some changes yeah you can notice that we have them here as additive you know changes and you can easily tone them down and you can also tone these ones down by simply using the intensity slider that you have right here another thing that you might be looking forward for or you might be looking forward to is the math caps so if you want to see the math caps if you go over to windows go over to preference you can notice that right now we have about 20 plus math caps so you can toggle through just to see the math caps that exist here and they've also gone through to add a tune shaded math cap so if tune shading is your kind of thing yeah you might also want to check this one and this is that tune shading that you might actually love so animating can be very easy as you just need to move to the frame where you want and you can make the tweaks that you want there and you can move to another frame and you can make multiple tweaks like that and you can move to another frame and you can make multiple tweaks if you don't want to see your wireframe you can always go over to display go over to wireframe shaded and you can turn this off and of course you can choose to invert this if you want and this is just totally up to you and you know you can do all of those changes that you want so once you change the shape like right now once you change the shape and you invoke the volumetrics automatically your volumetrics will definitely take that shape so you can choose to increase the amount of emission that is coming out and at the same time you can choose to also play with the scatter and once you're animating this as well you would notice that the volumetric actually animates with it so depending on what you're trying to do or how you want to get things going you can definitely get all of these things working out for you and if you're wondering if there's a brush if there's an alpha there is actually something that looks like that and that is the noise editor so the noise editor is uh something that you can tweak you can play with right now this tool is far from complete one thing that is broken now is the mdd file so you cannot be able to import mdd files at this point the alpha 2 doesn't seem to come with that option active as i have actually tried over and over to see if we can load up an mdd file that wasn't possible at all another issue that we have right here is the soloing so if you choose to solo something you just have issues with it uh the program either crashes or if you choose to go ahead and delete an, uh, a keyframe that is underneath right here it just simply crashes the program as well so for the most part this tool is coming up and you know it's it's getting some of the loves and if you're thinking about playing with a tool like this animating your own mesh and maybe you don't want to spend time thinking about how you can uh you know rig certain things or tweak them you can definitely think about using a tool like this 
keyframe your own sculpt and get certain things working for you so this is definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you're interested in knowing more about mosh 3d simply take a look in the description and of course you can also check out the previous video where we talked about sculptron version 1 alpha 1 and all of the beautiful things that it ships with so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace